This is Nine News with Lizzie Pearl. Good morning. Australia is set to ban disposable vapes and make it harder for them to enter the country, with the federal government revealing the biggest e-cigarette crackdown in a decade. Let's go live now to federal politics reporter Eliza Edwards. Eliza, this is a huge step. Talk us through the changes. Yeah, Lizzie, these reforms have been in the works for a while now. Today, Health Minister Mark Butler will officially announce new controls on recreational vaping. In terms of what will change, disposable vapes will be banned. So will the importation of non-prescription vapes to try to clamp down on the increasing black market. E-cigarette flavours will also be restricted and they'll need to come in pharmacy-like packaging, while the levels of nicotine in the vapes will have to be lower. In simple terms, the government is trying to make it a lot harder for people, particularly children, to get their hands on these harmful products. The health minister says vaping is becoming a problem not just in high schools but among primary school children as well. Vapes are disguised as highlighter pens, as USB sticks, so that people can take them to school. And it is having a really significant health effect on our youngest Australians. You're three times more likely to take up smoking if you vaped than if you haven't. These products have blatantly been marketed to the most vulnerable members of our community, to our kids, to adolescents, to young adults. They're brightly coloured, they come in flavours that are fruit or candy flavoured. These products were meant to be designed on medical prescription for those smokers who were struggling to quit. In reality, what we have seen is that they've been geared towards our children. Lizzie, the timeline for the changes is yet to be laid out by the government, but the first step will be allocating $234 million to the measures in next week's budget. Eliza Edwards there for us. And the Treasurer has hinted next week's budget will also include an increase in the job seeker welfare payment for people over the age of 55. The federal government has been under sustained pressure to lift unemployment support, including from Labor backbenchers. Jim Chalmers is yet to confirm the budget measure, but says older women in particular who are out of work are the most vulnerable group in society. Well, it's the day that makes mortgage holders very nervous and the big question as the Reserve Bank board meets today is whether they will hike again or pause rates for a second month. To discuss, we are joined by Nine's finance editor, Chris Kohler. Chris, good morning to you. What's your feeling on this? Forecasts are leaning towards another no-move decision, Lizzie, with the cash rate remaining on hold at 3.6%. There's certainly no consensus on that, I should say. There are some banks that say that there will be a hike. CBA and KPMG are those that expect another hike. 